νομίζω ήταν η φοβερή δουλειά στην Ομονία. Και με το ταξί, 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 She say you I cry because you are here today. Ah, Welcome to uh, a very impromptu edition of the No Chof Desk podcast. I'm Stel, and thank fuck I'm at home right now. Thank fuck, because if I wasn't, then I'd be doing this probably tomorrow, and it would have been dead news by then. But as you can see, Didier Lamkelze, have we much you want to pr- pronounce it? I don't fucking know. He's joined us. He's joined us. Um... I don't know how much the figure is. People are telling me it's 300,000 euros. People are saying it's half a million with 15% uh, sell-on fee going back to Antwerp. Uh, to be honest, Gobelia, it's about flipping time we made the signing. I'm going to try my best not to swear here. A lot of people are very excited. You know, Mario is here. He's very excited. Another one, who's my daddy? I don't know. Can you help me find him? Um, I'm joking. My dad's around the corner. Let's go, Giriago. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, there's a huge signing. The guy's a beast. One, okay, listen. We're going to get a 550k. Is that like a club record fee? I don't know. Well, look, I'll be 100% honest with you guys. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was asked my thoughts on this player. And I said, you know, he's got a really bad track record. He's upset a lot of people. He's done a lot of stupidness. A lot of stupidness. Um, oh, hang about Royce here. Oh, hello. Hello. I cannot see your face. Why? Uh, wait up. Hold up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Turn the camera off. You look hideous. The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, How you That's doing? it. Come yeah, well, I was, I was just saying that when, I, when um, the guy's name was mentioned, I was very, very reluctant. In fact, I think my words were keeping fucking away from this club in all fairness, because of his reputation, because of the way that he's behaved in the past. Um, but he's joined us now. He's joined us. And the only thing we can do now is back him, <clears throat> which is what we normally do most of the time, unless your name is Iai. Um But again, speaking to Hans earlier today, the, the guy that actually, the Antwerp, Antwerp fan that was on the pod, podcast last season, um, you know, he was telling, oh, he, he said he's going to join, I think. He might even join us. So I think I'll wait. I'll wait for him to. Uh, uh, let me message him. You, you tell me your, your thoughts on the on the move, man. Sorry, boys. I'm I'm literally just see. We, this we, is the beauty we, of live streaming. This is the beauty of doing live shows and everything. Um, this is literally impromptu, isn't it, Roy? I sent you the link. What yeah. two three minutes ago? You can jump on if you want. Um, and I messaged hands mm-hmm. about ten minutes ago, saying the deal's done. He said he will join literally just now. As you can see, my WhatsApp. So. I'll let you talk while I message him. Sorry for the, the rudeness, boys and girls. But as I said, this is live and this is what happens when, when things uh, are impromptu. So anyway. Yeah. Uh, basically, we touched briefly, I think, uh, on our last pod when we had uh, Eliza also on the show, uh, the beach handball uh, player. But um, I don't think we a lot of things can change uh, in comparison to what we said Uh as far as uh, talent is concerned, maybe we're talking about one of the biggest uh, names to come to play in this island. On the other hand, um, if he hadn't had uh, some disciplinary issues, I don't think Cyprus would have been uh, an option for him that he would have considered. So, you know, there's always a, a risk, uh, a gamble that we have to take. We still mentioned uh, and used that term that we have to gamble and uh, it's something that uh, we have said from time to time that you have to take an estimated risk. You can't always be very, very, you know, 
cautious and careful. Uh, so I know what I'm going to say is going to sound cliche. Uh, CVs and uh, what players have managed in their career up till now show exactly that. You don't know. Uh, you, you can never know how it's going to turn out when he comes to Cyprus. Uh, what we are hoping and wishing for is that he will concentrate and be as professional as uh, possible. He's going to um, take us to a next level because he's got the quality to do so. But the rest, you know, I think uh, only time will tell. Um, I'm not a type of person that, as you figured out <laughs> this uh, year and a half that we've been doing the pod almost two years, that I, I don't get very enthusiastic easily and then uh, I don't I don't get uh, disappointed very easily as well so that's what I'm going to do uh, and it's very important and especially everyone who's sending messages now me bombers je TNT je Xero suicide bombers je wow and okay obviously I'm, I'm not asking anyone not to be happy about it I think this is the initial reaction to for fuck's sake we've actually signed someone <laughs> I think that's yeah. like, it's the cum shot, isn't it? You've been waiting, you've been yeah. waiting, you've been waiting, and then there it is, bang. Explode yeah, but the thing, is, <laughs> uh, the, th the thing is, I'm hoping that, you know, the, the people who are currently enthusiastic about the, uh, and supportive of what the board, Baba Stavru, paid money to bring in this player, if uh, a couple of months from now he his behavior is not what you expect, uh, just remember, like I said in the previous pod, that you 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 should also bear the consequences and remember and not change your opinion a couple of months from now and say, oh, Ferrandon Bellone, Ferrandon Dino. So, έχετε το πάντα υποψήσεις στον το πράγμα. Ο διοπαδί πλέον πρέπει να αρκευκούν να γίνουμε συνένοχοι σε τούτα που θέλουμε και να αντιλαμβάνεστε ότι και εμείς σε κάποιο βαθμό πράξη, να, να αποδεχόμαστε τις συνέπειες των πράξεων μας. Εντάξει, έφταρτηκα να σας πω και τα λεφτά σου που μες στην τσέπη σου, υπάρχουν άλλοι τρόποι να το κάνουν, αλλά σίγουρα ε, φέρνουμε έναν ποδοσφαιριστή, ο οποίος θέλει μια διαχείριση πολλά συγκεκριμένη και απόδειξε στην καριέρα του ότι έχει τάσεις αυτοκαταστροφής, ας πούμε. Ελπίζουμε και ευχόμαστε όλοι, σαν ομονιάτες, ότι η παρουσία του δαμε και με τον Λένον στον πάγκο και το κλίμα του δαμε ότι είναι να το, είναι να το δεις σαν μια ευκαιρία to restart his career and concentrate on what he knows how to do best is to play football. Saying that, uh, I saw the, the Twitter Omonia put up and that's, we've been very critical, especially still when it comes to the ideas and we, we actually even uh, had a show that concentrated a bit on the social media. And we said, you know, if you can't think of something new, just copy. And uh, I really liked the video. So bravo, Sejinus Pudagamasi. At least uh, they're following and they're, and they're um, copying if they can't think of something a bit more, you know, um, the gone to Saspumen or something. Roy, but, uh, Roy sorry, to, yeah. sorry to interrupt, but Hans is here. I know he's only got a few minutes, so let, let's get him on. Um, so okay. he's got a few things to do, so let's get him on. Ladies and gentlemen, Hans Bresink. Hans, welcome to the podcast Hello, again. Hans. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you. I'm fine, I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, all good. First of all, thank you so much for jumping on at such short notice. I know it's a Sunday, it's a busy day. You're probably recovering from your European trip as well. So, uh, how have you been? I'm fine since uh, I last met you. Uh, we've had uh, a great European trip. And uh, now I'm even more happy because we finally got rid of Didier Lamkelze because of <laughs> you guys. Finally. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where to begin with this. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let, tell us about the player as a player, not as a person, because I've got a list of things in front of me. <laughs> oh, his, his shit list, as we like to call it. Yeah, but, but, what but there's, about the player? <laughs> there's this thing with Lamkel Zee, you can't only talk about its player, it's both of them. <laughs> the player is a pu pure genius. Is is 
I think pure quality, it's, it's been the best player in our league uh, for two years, but he didn't show it because he's crazy. So... <laughs> so okay, what so what do you think are his strengths? Like, is he is he quick? Is he good yeah, on the he's, ball? He's, he's, he, yeah, he's very pacey and uh, very good on the ball. So that's uh, one of the biggest of his strengths. Uh, he, he's uh, he can create a chance for himself. Like uh, I think uh, the uh, last no, the season before. He played up front for us and he created lots of chances uh, all by himself. So he, he, he's, he's, he's a very good player, but the problem is I think we've only seen 10 or 15 good games of him and he's been with Antwerp since 2018. So that's the big problem. So you said he, he's played up front. Has he, ever, has he played in other positions, do you know? Yeah, he's played uh, in five positions, I think, uh, at Antwerp. He's played on the... Uh, up front was just a few games. Mostly play, he's a winger, but he also has played as a number 10. And in the beginning when they bought him, they thought it was a number six, but I won't put him on the number six because he hates defending. <laughs> okay, so can he play as a number 10 as well, do you think? Yeah, probably. Yeah. So it's, he, it, 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 I think he's best when he has a free role and he can just free wheel and run a bit everywhere. As long as he doesn't have to defend, he'll be happy. There you go. There you go. Well, what are the stories coming out from Belgium? We hear that he's joined on one year for 550,000 euros with a 15% sell on clause. So if we sell him, Antwerp make 15% from the money made. Are there any stories coming out of? Your, your country about the sale? Yeah, we, we hear, uh, I heard uh, 600,000, so 500,000, 600,000, it's probably somewhere around there. We, we, so we, we paid 1 million for him, and we always hope to recover that money. So uh, we had to sell him with a loss. Mm. So he's been out on loan at four different clubs, if Three. I'm not mistaken? Three. Uh, DAC in Slovakia, but after a few months, he said it was too boring over there and he wanted to go. So he went to Kimzi in Russia, and then the war broke out with Ukraine. So he went for a few weeks to a mess in France. Right, okay. And um, has he been back to Belgium since, do you know? Yeah, he was uh, at our last away game here. He was there because we were singing songs to him that he had to go and that we didn't <laughs> want him there. So that's why I know. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we, you told us about his good points, I guess. <laughs> I've got a list of all the things that he's done. Um, he punched the teammate in 2019. That was Van Damme, wasn't it? Was it was it Van Dam? Uh, Van Dam and Bolat. He right, punched two okay. teammates. So That's when it was, was it was Van Dam Van, Van, Van Dam was the first one. Right, Van Dam was the first one. Was, was Bolat? Was it when he was at Antwerp? Was it, I can't remember. Was it Antwerp? Yeah, it was, was it when at, he was Antwerp, Antwerp when we uh, lost against AZ because of his stupid red card. Yeah, so he, didn't he climb into the the fans or didn't he? Did yeah, he climb? yeah, he climbed into the fence and got a second yellow card because of that. And we had to play the rest of the match with only nine because we already had a red card before one of our players. So, And because of that, we got eliminated. So w the worst thing he possibly could have done was showing up in an Andalek shirt, isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, probably. I also went to watch a game at our uh, arch rivals at Beerschot to right. annoy us. And when he showed up with the Andalek shirt, he said, uh, next day I'm going with a Beerschot shirt. So probably not only wearing the shirt, but saying that it would be do even worse. That's, uh, yeah, we didn't really like that. 
Okay, so I, I know he wanted to leave you guys, so he turned up in a in an Antwerp in a in an Andalek shirt. That, that's the that's the first thing that yeah. made a lot of the websites. But wasn't there something that he posted on social media about Brugger? Something about that? Did he do? So? <laughs> I can't remember. I, I I can't follow what the all, all the stuff he did once uh, uh, when last season when we loaned him out to DAC. Um, the newspaper listed like uh, all the things he had done wrong, and it was a list of about twenty-seven things. So it, it's possible I forget one or two. There was one story I heard that he he couldn't train for five days because he did something with his hair. And he yeah, he like... has um, his, uh, he had hair tattooed, like yeah. not no implements, but uh, a tattoo. So it looks like you have hair. And, I need one uh, of those, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> and he only did that like uh, two days before uh, training started in the new season. <laughs> and the, year, the year before, he uh, went on holiday to Nice in France. The day training started because um, his, uh, he, did, he wanted a new contract and he thought... It was best to go to Nice to get a new contract. <laughs> so every, every every year he does everything to miss uh, preseason training because he doesn't right. like he doesn't like running. He only likes playing with the ball. Like he's the he's the happiest boy in the world when he can play football, but when he can't, it's like um, his first year at Antwerp. He was always driving around Antwerp and uh, stopping at. Uh, like public football pitches and stuff and go play with the kids because that's all he wants to do, play football. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing, I guess. That's a good thing. I, I know a lot of the kids in Cyprus will, will love him for doing that. But I, I think, do, do you think there's a possibility that maybe at 25 years old, he's coming to Cyprus now? It's a big, okay, no disrespect, but it's a big step down from, from the Upilla League, right? The, 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 do you think maybe this is the opportunity for him to snap out of it and think, right, I need to get my career back in gear because he's got loads more time to play. So could Omonia be a stepping stone for him? Yeah, it's probably his last chance, I suppose. Otherwise, it only goes downhill because that's, that's what they said after his transfer to Antwerp. It, this is his chance now. Um, but yeah, I... I I don't think he has the best manager, and I'm afraid in the best uh, environment about him. And right. I'm afraid that doesn't help at uh, uh, making a career. Mm. What about the managers he's played under? The, the, the reason I ask about the managers he's played under is because we've got a very fine yeah, but I don't, manager ourselves. I, I don't mean uh, the food, the manager. I mean the football you mean, you mean agent. the agents. The agents, yeah. The yeah, agents. yeah. yeah. But in terms of the coaches, the head coaches that he's, he's uh, played under, we've got a very fiery one in, in Neil Lennon. But Lennon, at the same time, is a very good man manager. Is there a possibility that Lennon might be able to calm him down a little bit? Yeah, he played his best games under uh, Laszlo Belloni, who right. used to be our manager. And he's like a uh, typical grandfather. Like, uh, he's, uh, you're a bit afraid of him, but he's also very soft to his players. So mm -hmm. it probably needs the the coziness and the gentle uh, of a of a manager. He needs to be hugged. He needs a few hugs. Yeah, hands. yeah. He, well, he, wants, that... he wants to be loved. I will. He'll, he'll get that. And and I think because perhaps because we've got two African players in the squad in uh, Uzoho, the Nigerian, and uh, Bashiru. Perhaps they speak the same language and similar culture. Maybe that. That might help him a little bit. But Roy, do you have any questions? Okay, I, I, most of them were answered uh, while uh, you know analyzing what he's done. Uh, what I'd like to concentrate more, obviously, it's important to know that you know, and we already knew that his disciplinary <laughs> um, uh, he, he, he's, he's made a lot of. <laughs> mistakes let's say uh but i think you know the, there's enthusiasm around the signing of this player and it's the first time in a long time that we spend a lot of money so maybe it's a bit better to concentrate on his football so uh you you mentioned a bit earlier uh, about his characteristics but can you say something more for example 
Has he got skill? Has he got pace? Has he got strength? Uh, in what system do you think? Uh, what system you think suits him better? You said as a free man, but it, under which system? Uh, you said he doesn't like defending. I don't know if that would be a problem because you know, uh, in modern football, you you can't afford to have players who don't like defending. I mean, at least they should. Uh, try a little bit, uh, but you can't have a player that's, you know, going to neglect his um, defensive uh, responsibilities. So, yeah, that, that, that's my question. Where do you think, in, under which system do you think he can offer? And a little bit more about his characteristics, his attributes like speed, yeah, dribbling. Like, like, like I said before, he's very pacey, so he's very fast. Um It's, it's a good you, you you can't easily get him off the ball uh, I think I don't know uh, what system you play in but uh, like a 3-5-2 for example is nothing for him when he has to play on the wing back we, we tried that a few times with him on the wing back and that, that's horrible because he doesn't want to defend but apart from that every position up front where he has a free role he, he can play for uh, Really decent, I'm sure. Do, he he reads the game. I mean, he, he he gives assists to players. Does he play behind the back? Like, is he direct? Is he a type of person that's going to run to defenders, or he's mostly you know needs players to to be next to him? You know, um, he he's going to run to the defenders. He's, he's he's like he's trying to outrun the defenders most of the time. Because, like I said, he's really fast, and you can't easily um, um, get him off the ball. It's Stop not like him. he runs di direct to the defender and wants to dribble him, but he just he, he always tries to outrun the defender. Okay. And uh, what about uh, he? He's a he's a big boy, so he's good at uh, headering balls because uh, we suffered no. uh, set pieces I, the last. Uh, I can't remember any headers from him. I, okay, I don't cause... think he's good at heading. I uh, He's good with his feet, but... Nah, never seen him score the, a header the is, or... The thing is, Hans, um, there's a club in Cyprus called Anorthosi. I don't know if you've heard of them, but um, they signed a, a player called Amir Vada, who's an Egyptian striker, Egyptian forward. He hasn't played for the national team for a few years, but... He won player of the season last year and he's just as crazy. And it's almost as if, well, put it this way, the manager that got the best out of him last season is also known to be a, a fiery character. So we're thinking, well, perhaps, you know, two negatives make a positive. And with Zer coming in for us and Lennon being the kind of head, co head coach that he is, perhaps it, it might work out for the player. I'm, I'm hoping it will, because given what you said about his ability, it's not questionable. If you turn around and said to me, he's shit, He's rubbish. He's one of the worst players I've ever seen. I'll be thinking, why have we spent half a million on him or 600,000? But the fact that he's a very good player, but up here, it, it just isn't working out. So as long as the, the feet are working and he's putting in the uh, the, the effort and scoring the goals, I, I think that's all that matters to the to the fans these days, in all fairness. I mean, I'm into players that have got the right mentality, but if he's a bit of a lunatic and does the job on the pitch... I don't think we can really complain much, but that's if he does it, that is. That, that's, that was also my opinion in the beginning. Like, I defended him for a very long time until he came to our training in uh, the end of lecture. That was, like, the last drop for me. Uh, before, he was, he was, like, a cult hero. Many uh, players uh, loved... Uh, many supporters loved him for what he did, and the others loved to hate him or hated to love him. Um But yeah, is I, I think he'll be the best player in Cyprus straight away. That is a big statement, man. <laughs> That he, is a big st <laughs> he, he, he was the, at the moment he was the best player in the Belgian league. He's yeah. he's a really good. Normally he should be like top five competition. One of the like. Uh, um, A player like that should normally play like a top five team in, in, mm. in Germany or France or something like that. 
Uh, so do you think if the fans will get behind him, he will really put in the effort? Because people are talking about going to the airport later on to see him. <laughs> yeah, that's that will help him a lot. He will get more crazy and crazy. That's good. <laughs> Go to the airport. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Go well, all, get, it, all, get all behind him, make him play really well and buying for lots of money so we get something out of the 15 percent <laughs> well you took it easy on us in the in the first leg so i think we owe you i think we owe you a bit of money <laughs> oh blimey well look apart from that hans roy have you got any more questions to ask hans i know it's, it's pretty short for us but um yeah yeah i mean uh okay he said that if he feels you know the um... From, from what I gathered, he needs tender love and care. He needs his TLC. You know, you, you need to make him feel important. You, you He wants to obviously play game in, game out. So I think that's something uh, that's quite yeah, important true. to bear in mind. One, and, one of the um, biggest problems in Antwerp was he had the feeling we didn't pay him respectfully. So uh, when he plays well, be sure after 20 games he will ask for a bigger wage but just give it and he'll be happy oh, okay no that's yeah anyway <laughs> i mean uh, yeah. let's let's hope that uh, we're, not, we're gonna not regret signing this player i hope he stays in uh, history okay like 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 still said if he's good on the pitch and he does a few things you know when things go well, everyone's got the. Um, they're willing to forgive someone. If, if if things don't go well, this is what we always say in football. You know, uh, you become very negative, and uh, okay, we'll have to wait and see. Because generally, as a club, we we've been very conservative when it came to uh, buying players. We wouldn't spend money. We'll get players on loan or uh, usually on on a free transfer. So spending all this money. Uh, after quite some years, um, the expectations are high. And uh, Omonia's uh, secret recipe the last three years was that they had a very quiet dressing room, uh, very balanced, good relationship between the players. So from what I understand, we're putting a ticking bomb in, in our in the squad. Yeah, we, we, we do agree with Stoff from time to time that we need some shit housing, you know, from our players against opponents, but uh, you definitely don't need that when when you're training. You don't need him to start like fighting with his teammates or I don't know, just whatever, doing all this um, crazy stuff. So let's just hope that uh, this is a, an attempt to for him to resurrect his career and concentrate more on on the football. And yeah, we'll, we'll see. But thanks for jumping on my friends it's a pleasure to meet you as well because last time I wasn't on the no, show so no no worries uh, I'm happy to help Hans thank you so much man for for jumping on such short notice and I know you guys have got a new head coach in Van Bommel yes um, you, brought, you brought in Vincent Janssen as well the striker that didn't do too well at Spurs but how, how is he getting on at the moment uh, uh, I went to a pre-season training camp Mm -hmm. And over there, I saw a friendly game. He played really well over there. But now he's still finding... Uh, he's, yeah, he's still adapting to the team. Uh, we also got uh, Toby Alderweireld. That's right, yeah. Tottenham, Tottenham player. So we're trying to rebuild the Tottenham squad of a, se a few seasons <laughs> ago, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we got Nangalan as well. He joined. He joined. Yeah, just, yeah. Just he joined hard. last season. Yeah, he, he played against us in the first and second leg. I think. Yeah, he played against yeah, us. Yeah, he did. Against is, is he getting did. on all right? Is he? Is he drinking I think, still? <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course, he is. <laughs> the, Lovely. The no story between Nangalan and Zay. It would have been nice. A nice couple, Zay with Nangalan <laughs> in training. I, I think they never shared the dressing room. Yeah, because okay. last year they didn't play. Yeah, I mean they didn't didn't play when Omonia played against uh, yeah. Antwerp. I think they wasn't there. But there's another common denominator. Uh, there's a, a player, Anders Nielsen. He used to play for Omonia years ago. He, yeah. I think, he was either an assistant there or 
He was know, uh, what, 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 assistant manager last season. Yeah, so we might get him on the show. Uh, he used to play for Ammonia years ago, and he was a really good player, Anders Nilsson. And uh, actually, we got a message on Facebook still saying that we should get him so he can talk about uh, Zay as well. So he, he, he's got he, to know him from he the didn't, inside. He didn't, he didn't manage he didn't Zay. Train him. Yeah, he no. didn't. Yeah, he didn't manage him. Yeah. So, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, another common denominator between the two of us. So, so now I guess you will be supporting Omonia in Cyprus, huh? <laughs> uh, yes, of course, because we want to fifteen percent. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, Hans, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And um, if there's anything we can do for you, man, uh, you know we we owe you big time. Thank you so much. For yeah, your time. no problem. No problem. Appreciate it. Good luck for the rest yes, of the season. Guys. We might we might see you in the Europa League. You never know. Thank, thank you, and you guys. Good luck with uh, Lampkalze. You'll need it. We'll look oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye bye. There you go. See, we've been warned, but listen, um, every leaf can be turned. And um, as I said at the top of the show, I'm willing to give this guy a chance as, as much as I didn't want a person like him. Um, he's ours now. We have to support him, which we will. And uh, as Mario says, if he scores against Abuel, then he'll, he'll be not a madman. If a football player in Cyprus is crazy and the fans like this madness, it'll only be good for both because he'll connect with the fans and give 100% on the field. We saw it in the past. Just thinking, Roy, you know when they yeah, talk Tom. about you know, him needing to be loved and all that, right? Do you remember coming to America? The first yeah. one, not the second one. You know what I'm about to say here? Yep. Go, go, go. Say, you, what, say, yeah. for the so, you know when Eddie Murphy was walking, yeah, those two women with the baskets with the roses? Yeah. Maybe we should do that. Just get two girls to hold baskets <laughs> with, with rose petals. Just throw them when when Lankel's walking when Jose's walking. <laughs> I could get a girl to bite like a dog for him. <laughs> we have to see. We have to see, man. But uh... what type of food do you like? Anything you like? <laughs> what type of music do you like? Any music you like? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I I think you know we we signed him obviously despite his flaws. Is what I said yeah. in the introduction. Uh, if like like Hans said, uh, talent-wise, he he should be playing the top five teams in a, in any league. But obviously, for him to be playing at, at the age of 25, 26 in Cyprus after being loaned out in three countries, three teams in the last year, that can be a bit concerning. But I, I repeat. Uh, what I always say, not just for Zé, when someone signs a contract and uh, he's a player of our team, we, we should support him, give him uh, the time, give him patience uh, to prove what he can do. Obviously, in the long run, if uh, his behaviour, both off and on the pitch, uh, damage the club and, uh, and the rest, then maybe we can reconsider. But uh, also the, the fans, like I said, who are now happy and ecstatic about the transfer? They should they should try and be balanced. They should try to to understand that this is a, a transfer that cost almost a million, and he hasn't played yet. You know, so uh, be a bit more patient. Wait for him. What always matters is the team and not the individual. So always we have to we have to think uh, of that in the long run. There you go. Right, that's it for another show. We've only done thirty three minutes, but as I said, it was an impromptu one. Thanks again to Hans for jumping on at really really short notice. Um, look at this one. Going to be fun watching Money implode with their erratic management and players this season. It's Rodri Giggs again. Jesse Lingard's favorite favorite. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, he's, he's, a, he's a Jesse Lingard fanboy. Um, I've got a picture of yeah, yeah. Jesse Lingard. Actually. I, I oh, like Rod, Rod, man. Rod wants to be Jesse Lingard so much, he actually dresses like him. Do you know that? Does he do the, the moonwalk as well? I, I, I don't know. Does he, I don't has know. He, has, I've has never seen... got the dance moves of, of Jesse Lingard? I, I, I hope so. I hope so. 
Because, I mean, you know, Rod, yeah, but I, as I said, Rod, Rod likes to dress up as, as Jesse Lingard. He likes to be like, you know, he, he wants to be Jesse Lingard. So I thought, you know, here you go. There he is. <laughs> yeah, I saw a picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the one. <laughs> cool, isn't it? That's the one, yeah. Yeah, there the was this other one you sent me as well. Uh, you sent me one on, on WhatsApp. I think you should put is that, that, that up. Where he was, oh, where, where he's dressed up as Calvert, Calvert Lewin with a handbag and everything. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, you should put that up, and I think then we could we should we could put stories as well and tag him and everyone. Yeah. I do Prince. <laughs> well, there's a story about Prince where he removed part of his rib cage so that he could get down to his. Yeah. 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 You heard about that? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah I've heard about we that. I don't know if Rod doing that as well, yeah, man. But I, I don't I, know. I, I, I don't know. I, I should hope you wouldn't need to do that. Like if if he, you know, if it's long enough, then anyway. Right. He asked for Mario it. Says he asked for it. it. I, I, not from me. <laughs> no, what, what, what? Oh, what right, okay. Ask, oh, okay. Yeah, what's been yeah. asking for it, man, all, all, all this time. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> there you go. Right. Mario hit the nail right on the head. Like the video. The more likes like you, the you give us, the higher up in the ranks, the, the, exactly. And whenever people search for Armonia, this would be one of the, the first videos that come up because you've liked the video so much. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my Instagram. I put it on the Facebook. We're doing a giveaway Sunday. So if you have a just take a picture of it, send it to me, even send it to Roy and tag to go Invento, which is our friend, uh, you know, in, in Left Garcia. Uh, lovely coffee shop. I've been there a few times. Delicioso. Um, tag them, tag me, tag Roy, and you could win a Giriagidis, Frabiagidis, Panella. There you go. It's that simple. People say, oh, my, thank you, do we give and then we do them. You guys don't get involved. I mean, I'm trying to have a bit of fun with this. We still owe you an OnlyFans account. Rod, Rod can do the OnlyFans account. <laughs> Rod can do the OnlyFans account. That's yeah, fine. Ah, then, Roy, wrap it up, my friend. Wrap it up. Epidelus okay, Simmera, that... the... <laughs> Η μεταγραφή που περιμέναμε, ε, περιμένουμε προφανώς και κάποιες άλλες για να κλείσουν. Όπως είπα και πριν και στα αγγλικά και στα ελληνικά, παραπάνω από τον οποιοδήποτε παίχτης σημασία είναι η ομάδα, ένας ποδοσφαιριστής ο οποίος μπορεί να εξελικτεί σε ένα από τους καλύτερους. Είναι ο οποίος 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 Μα είπε κάποιο ότι ήταν καλύτερο στο Βέλγιο, πόσο μάλλον να είμαι στην Κύπρο. Απλά πρέπει να, να προσπαθήσουμε και εμεί με τον τρόπο μα να του δείξουμε ότι είναι ευπρόσδεκτο να είμαι, αλλά να καταλάβει ο ίδιο ότι κάποιε συμπεριφορέ δεν αρμόζουν ούτε στην ιστορία τη ομάδα και ότι να πρέπει να αρμονιστεί στην ένταξη πραγμάτων. Ελπίζω ότι να διοδεί σαν μια ευκαιρία για να αναγεννήσει την καριέρα του και να έχει παραπάνω φιλοδοξίε πέραν τη ομονία. Να βοηθήσει την ομάδα, να έχει τα χαρακτηριστικά, έχει την δύναμη, την ταχύτητα, έχει χαρακτηριστικά που λήφκεται η ομάδα. Και ελπίζουμε να κρυθεί και εκείνος στο ύπεδο, όσο κλεισέ και να βγουέται τον το πράγμα που λαλώ. Να ελπίζουμε ότι να βοηθήσει και να βοηθήσει και έγκαιρα. Και από εκεί και πέρα περιμένουμε και τη συνέχεια ε, τις επο, επόμενες ανακοινώσεις της ομάδας. Και ξεκινούν και αφιλικά, ήρθε πίσω η ομάδα... Που είναι Πολωνία, την Παρασκευή να παίξουν με ένα και ένα δυνατό φιλικό πριν ε, το παιχνίδι του Super Cup με τον Απόλλο να αντίστερα ο πρώτον ε, ευρωπαϊκό. Ελπίζω η ομάδα να, να είναι έτοιμη στον βαθμό του δυνατού. Εχθές με την ορθόση δεν συζητήσαμε. We didn't mention anything about the game with an ορθόση yesterday, but never mind. We we'll just keep it short and sweet. Ε, αλλά ναι, ελπίζω να κινηθούμε στο σωστό το δρόμο, τη σωστή κατεύθυνση και να έρθουν τα αποτελέσματα που να μας δώσουν και παραπάνω χρόνο να αξιολογήσουμε και πιο καλά την κατάσταση. Μέχρι τότε πάμε σιλακά μου. <laughs>